giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from Wake Point Services to talk the Gentleman Campaign, we've got Brittany Appleton. Brittany, welcome. Hi, thanks so much for having me today. So this campaign has actually been going on for a number of years. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about the Gentleman Campaign? Yes, so the Gentleman Campaign started back in 2013 as a fundraising and awareness piece for our Domestic Violence Victim Services Program. That program actually serves seven counties in Northeast Iowa. So we have offices in Waterloo, Dubuque, and here in Cedar Rapids and then we serve all those counties in between there um, and we serve a little bit over 2,500 victims and survivors of domestic violence every year so starting this campaign was really important to bring awareness to that program and of course help fundraise to support those individuals in need of those services. What did the campaign look like initially? What? Yeah so initially it was just kind of an awareness piece looking to um, bring um, awareness to that program and then the first event that we did which we've been doing ever since then was an, a motorcycle cycle ride um, and it really the focus of the campaign has been on focusing on the true gentlemen in the community who are taking a stand with Waypoint against domestic violence and know that violence is not the way to treat anyone. Um, and so it was just a different way to look at domestic violence in that light and in that community and really garner support from ev everyone in the community. So this campaign happens out throughout the month of October. Correct. Tell us yep. about some of the activities and some of the different events going on. Yes, that month. so we chose October for the campaign because it coincides with National Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And and again, there's a bunch of smaller um, activities and events that happen, but there are a few bigger pieces that you can get involved in if you're interested in supporting the campaign. Um, as I mentioned, the Benefit Motorcycle Ride is something that we do every year. It's happening on October 13th this year. We leave from McGrath Power Sports in Cedar Rapids and then travel through our counties that we serve to some smaller bars, um, again, just as a big fundraising piece of that event. We also sell t-shirts. So um, the t-shirt that I'm wearing today, if you can see that design at all, um, is something that we'll be selling again and all of the funds raised from the t-shirts that are being sold support our domestic violence program. And again, just advocacy and awareness pieces are huge. Um, if you're on social media during October, we'll be sharing a lot of information on domestic violence, our program statistics, things like that. So being a social media advocate for us, coming to the events, and then just learning more about domestic violence and our programs and being willing to share that information with your friends, family, anyone who may be willing to listen to that information. Let's talk a little bit about those statistics and specifically Waypoint's Domestic Violence Victim Services Program. Yes. How many do you serve? Yes, so we serve over 2,500 victims and survivors of domestic violence every year throughout that seven county area that I mentioned, which is huge. And we do see every year that that number continues to grow, unfortunately. So we know that it's a huge need that we have in this community to have access to those type of services. Um, we provide one-on-one -on -one meetings with those individuals. We offer support groups. We have a 24-7 resource and support line that anyone can call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to talk to someone, get access to resources, things like that. And that was answered almost 7,000 times last year. Um, so again, just shows it's a huge need in the community. We help with transportation, we do medical and legal advocacy for those individuals. And so um, bringing awareness to the community, if you're not interested in kind of doing that direct service as a volunteer, that's a great way that you can support us by getting the word out about the program. And let's talk about specifically Gentleman's Day and then maybe the ride and or some of the other components of uh, Gentleman's campaign. Yes, so the motorcycle ride again, as I mentioned, is on October 13th. Um, registration's that day at 9 a.m. and we'll leave for McGrath Power Sports at 11. And Gentleman Day is on October 17th, which we work with the mayors in those three, our three largest service areas, Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, and Dubuque, and they proclaim that day as Gentleman Day. So we'll go to a city council meeting, they'll do a proclamation for us, and then we encourage everyone to wear their gentleman campaign shirts to bring awareness for us. And where someone could learn about everything that's happening throughout the month and how the community can get involved. Yes, the easiest thing would be to visit our website, www.waypointservices.org. There's a gentleman campaign tab there that talks about all of our events and all of that information. And even if it's buying a t-shirt, you're helping out the program. Yes, definitely. <laughs> thank you so much for your time, Brittany. Yes, thank you so much for having me. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.